You run fast going back to your car. At the same time, wiping your tears because as of this moment, your heart is like breaking apart after seeing Jungkook with another woman. And you also slowly realize that you already love your husband. Your concern for him is not only for guilt. Instead, it is love. You were almost pretty close to your car when someone pulled you back that caused you of turning your back at him. And there your eyes widened after seeing Jungkook in front of you and asking you if, why did you run? What? You stuttered to answer while removing his hand from your arm. I said, why did you run? Don't you want to see me with another girl? Excuse me? Actually, I don't even know you are here and why would be angry if you were with another woman? You are free to date with someone else. He looked down and laughed. Then for a few seconds, he raised his head and stared at you. Then why did you run? Stupid YN. What will I answer to him? Why I run? Good thing your brain think fast. Because I want to go to the bathroom. Bathroom? But there's a bathroom inside the restaurant. Exactly. So I went back to my car to get a tissue because I'm so sensitive to and comes with tissue. Oh, I see. By the way, since you and your friend are already here, why don't we have lunch together? Are you crazy? Fine, then let's eat together. But under one condition. Condition? What condition? Don't introduce me as your wife to that girl with you. I don't want her to think that you have been cheating on me. Or don't introduce us to each other. Are you sure? Oh, I'm sure. Okay, if that's what you want. Then let's go back inside. You gaze at him and walk going back to the restaurant. Then he calls your name which makes you turn around and say, What now? I thought you were going to get tissue from your car. According to you, you are sensitive and comes with tissue. Shoot, I forgot. You mumbled and ran going back to your car and get a tissue and say, I just forgot. Then you give him a fake smile so he won't notice that you lied to him. Why did you suddenly run? Asked your bestie. Don't mind me. Bestie, can you just ride on me? Even just now? You whisper to her. What's the matter? I will explain to you later. But for now, let's have lunch together. With my husband's mistress. You replied. At the same time following her and followed Junko. Even though confused, I will follow you without any clue on what's going on. Upa, where have you been? Asked the woman with him. That makes your blood pressure go up. What? Upa? Did she call him Upa? So after spending nine together, she really thinks he owns him? You said to yourself of giving that girl a dumb look. YN, please sit down, Jungkook said and pulled a chair for you. However, you just sat down in another chair. YN, I think I heard your name before. She is my wife. I'm his friend. You cut his word before he could say the word wife. Your best to look at the tree of you. And was even more confused. What's going on? She asked. Just quiet. You mouthed at her while kicking her legs under the table. Ah, friend. 
By the way, Opa, let's order. I'm hungry, she added, and took the menu in front of her. YN, just order anything you want. You too, Ira, Junko quoted. You took the menu and looked for your favorite food and told the waitress. When the girl with him said, Opa, I'm going to order your favorite. Steak please, medium rare. She said that makes you feel devastated because of so much jealousy. Like what the heck? You are his wife but the one who ordered for him is his mistress. You thought you could bear to watch your husband's betrayal but you were wrong. As time went on, you only got more hurt. Okay, this is enough. Let's go, Ira. You said at the same time, stood up. Where are you going? I lost my appetite. Just enjoy being with your mistress. Mistress? Opa, did she call me your mistress? You heard it right. Wait, you're thinking wrong. Why, Anne? She's my sister who lives abroad. She arrives last week, so I try to spend time with her before she returned to Spain. Your jaw literally dropped and said, Sister? This girl is your sister? Yep, and I have no mistress. Ira, let's go. You added and held Ira's arms and about to run, but your husband blocked your way. Don't go. Please, can you just stay with us? You look at him and say, But I'm really ashamed of what I did. You don't have to. Opa, I think your wife loves you. Of course not. Wait. How did you know that I'm his wife? Mm, we always talk about you. Yeah, Mafia. Why didn't you tell me right away that she's your sister? Remember, you told me in the parking lot not to introduce the two of you to each other. Ah, let's forget it. I'm hungry, let's eat since the food is already here. Let's eat, Jungkook said while holding your elbow, while his other hand was pulling the chair for you. You slowly sat on the chair. The embarrassment you felt earlier suddenly vanished, because the two siblings act like nothing happened. Until your eyes landed in your best friend, who is busy eating. Yeah, what are you doing? I am eating. I don't understand on what's going on. So it's better to eat than to join in your conversation. As you heard them laughing at what Ira said. Later on, Camille stood up and went to the bathroom. You also grabbed that opportunity to apologize to her. So you ended up off following her. Upon your arrival inside the bathroom, you saw her washing her hands. You stand next to her and also wash your hand. And the moment she saw you, she smiled and said, I think this is the right time to introduce each other. Hi, I'm Camille. I'm your husband's little sister. You held her hand as she extended it to you and said, I'm YN. Nice to meet you. And also, I'm sorry for calling you mistress. Nah, it's okay. I know why you did that. Out of jealousy, right? You know, this lady, my brother, always wants to talk about you. I'm pretty sure she really loves you. And based on what I saw, you also feel the same. To be honest, I'm not sure about my feelings. But when I saw him earlier with you, my heart broke because I thought you were his lover. You want my help? No, thank you. I want to tell him by myself. By the way, nice dress. 
I think we have the same taste. For sure we will get along. You want to hang out? When someone entered the bathroom, Can I join? Ira said. Sure, why not? By the way, I am Camille. Ira. Wow, nice shoes. After lunch, you and Jungkook went your separate ways, since you were going on to take Ira to her house. After sending her home, you choose to stay with her house to think what should you do, and you purposely go home around 8 in the evening to avoid him. Instead of going through the main door, you choose to go through in the backyard so that if Jungkook in the living room, he won't see you. I am doing this, you said while slowly walking with the shoe you took off until someone spoke at your back. Did you commit a crime? Why it looks like you're hiding from me. In so much shock, you throw the shoe you were holding and there you saw Jungkook standing behind you. You even more surprised after you saw your shoe on top of his head which makes your eyes widen. Oh my gosh, I'm sorry, you said and hurriedly ran to remove your shoe from his head. Unfortunately, you accidentally slipped and flew. Good thing your husband caught you in time. That was so close, you said, until you heard him giggling. In your curiosity, you look at him as you found him hugging at you. I'm sorry. You said again and about to move back. However, he stopped you. You were the first to hug me, and now you will run? He said, while tightening his grip on your waist. But I didn't mean to hug you. Then, can we stay like this for a while? He added and stared at you, which makes your heart go crazy. But I, I need to go to the bathroom. Okay. After he said that, he let go of you. At that moment, your face was blushing so hard, so you hurriedly walked so he wouldn't notice it. But before you could completely enter the house, he called you again. Why am? Huh? You replied while turning your back. He walked closer and stood in front of you. I am leaving. I can't go home tonight. I have important business to take care of. When I come back tomorrow, can we talk about us? Us? Hmm. About our marriage, our relationship. My feelings. Actually, I lied when I told you that I will forget you. I love you. I'm serious. Actually, I also have important to tell you. Then I will wait for you tomorrow. Promise. When you wake up tomorrow, I'll be here. Can you take care of yourself? Just for me? I will. He smiled and held your face. After that, he left with 10 of his men, including Doro. You were smiling like an idiot while entering the room at the same time having butterflies in your stomach. Fine, by tomorrow? I will admit my feelings for him. You mumbled and throw yourself on the bed. Time skip. You woke up early to take care of yourself. After taking a shower, you pick a nice dress and put some makeup. After that, you went downstairs to wait for him. You were excited to go down and sit in the living room while thinking about how will you tell him that you also love him? 
However, that excitement is gone and has been replaced by frustration because it's already 11 in the morning but Jungkook still hasn't come. You didn't even eat breakfast so you can eat together. He said he's here when I wake up. You said while biting your lips in frustration. Still, you wait for him. What if he has a reason why he is late? But your patience has run out because it's already 4 in the afternoon, but he's still not there. This time, you start to get angry. You stood up and decided to go back to your room. You entered to your room and took your car key to leave and went to your bestie. When you heard something outside in your room, your curiosity hits you so you open the door. As you saw Doro just going out from the room where Jungkook was staying. What happened? Why are your clothes covered in blood? Boss got shot. You didn't let Doro finish his words. You just ran to the room where Jungkook was and about to enter but his men stopped you. I'm sorry ma'am, boss don't want anyone to enter the room. But I'm his wife. I have the right to know what is happening to my husband. You scream where your whole body was shaking with nervousness. You didn't even notice that your tears were falling from worry and fear. Afraid that you might lose him. Until you heard his voice saying, let my wife in without second thought you enter the room but before that you kick his men first the moment you saw him covered with blood the tears dripping on your eyes got stronger why are you crying he asked at the same time holding your hand who hurt you i will kill him your words make him laugh as he pulls you that ended you of sitting on his lap. He is already gone. Don't cry. I'm okay. He stated. You won't die, right? Yo, Jungkook. I don't want to be a widow. I want to experience having a family with you. He held your chin and said, I guess my hunch is right. You also love me, right? You just stared at him. Then later on, can I be honest about my feelings? Of course. All of the sudden, you kiss him. After a few seconds, you also broke the kiss and speak. I'm not a showy type of person. I prefer to hide my feelings, but I can't stop myself from admitting this to you. Oh, I love you, and I'm afraid of losing you. Thank you for loving me back, he said, and kissed you passionately. Wait, wait, which part of your body was shot? Are you okay? Should I call a doctor? I'm okay. You don't have to worry. Why am? Hmm? Can I go back to my room? Actually, I can't sleep here. Twelve midnight. Jungkook was sleeping soundly while hugging you when your phone buzzed. You slowly get up and answer your phone. Are you guys outside? Oh, Ira and I were already here. Is my brother already asleep? I give what he wants, so he will get tired and fall asleep. Just wait for a second. You successfully escape from the mansion. And currently going to Camille's favorite disco bar. You choose to escape because Jungkook doesn't want you and Camille to go to that place without him and his bodyguards. 
Since Camille wants to enjoy before going back to Spain, Yuto disobeyed. Jungkook goes. You three were so excited to enjoy when someone sat beside you and placed his hands on your waist, which made your jaw drop. Don't mind me, just enjoy, your husband said and gave you a peek. I thought you tired him. Do you really think you can put me to sleep in two rounds? You should pay me later for escaping my love. Oh, la la. Good luck to you, our friend. <laughs>